What's up everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Rogue Tuesday and today we're looking at a Mega Manetric Reg Ice deck. Now we've seen Mega Manetric before, but we haven't seen Reg Ice. I guess that's how you say it. Red G yeah, Reg Ice. I mean that's a red geese. I don't know. We're gonna see Reg Ice here. It has 120 HP. First attack is Ice Beam, 30 damage, flip a coin of heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. But the second attack is what we're going for here. It does Resistance Blizzard, 70 damage during your opponent's next turn to prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by Pokemon EX. Now, this is just like Hippowdon that I use to make top 64 worlds, so obviously this is a really good card. The only difference is Hippowdon has like strong energies and you can use Karina's. And you can use Focus Ash, so, you know, it has a little bit of downside, but I think Red Ice has a lot of potential in this new format. Now, one of the problems with Red Ice is 90x Pokemon, and one of the biggest ones in the game right now is Vespa Queen. So, we're playing Mega Manetric here, and now, with Vespa Queen, usually they play like Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon to hit for weakness, but there's not a fighting weak type Pokemon that can knock out Mega Manetric, really. Uh, so, the Vespa Queen really can't knock out one shot your Mega Manetrix. You can one shot them. You can actually cycle between different Mega Manetrix against that matchup, which is pretty cool here. And also, you have Turbo Bolt to actually power up Red Rice if you need to. If you don't get the Water Energy turn 1 and the DCE, you could potentially start powering up Mega Manetric. It has uh, Turbo Bolt 110. Attach two basic energies cards from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. And you can either do this to another Mega Manetric or Red Rice here. Now, we do play uh, four of the regular Manetric EX here, overrun 20 and 22 Avenged Pokemon, Assault Laser 60, if there's a tool attached to the active Pokemon, your opponent's active Pokemon does 60 more, so 120, and then of course, two Shaman to help set up, uh, draw, put it down, draw to, draw to you have six cards, and we play three Regice, now if you notice, Mega Manetric has free retreat, Shaman has one, and Regice has Three, so that's why we kind of want to start with Mega Man Manetric and then kind of evolve into Mega Manetric, and that way you can retreat to Reg Ice. Make sure it's not hurt at all. Now we play two Battle Compressors just to discard some energies. Maybe if you do decide to go the Mega Manetric route, if you have to, uh, it's probably always early game you're going to start attacking with Mega Manetric, then switch over to Reg Ice if your opponent is playing an all uh, EX deck. You're going to discard three cards, probably supporters and some energies with it. Three switch, just like I said, Regis has a three retreat cost. If they do decide to light center up, you could uh, switch it out. No flow stones, they are out of the game currently. Four Ultra Ball, just to get your Pokemon out. Four VS Seeker to use our, our supporters, which we do have a lot in here. One Ace Trainer. Now, I think Ace Trainer is a card we haven't seen that much, but I think it's good in this new format. Each player shuffle his or her hand to their deck, then draw six cards, your opponent draws three. But you can only play this card if your opponent has more. Let if you have more prize cards left than, less than your opponent. So if I have six and my opponent has three, you can use Ace Trainer, put him at three, and you get to draw six, which is pretty strong there. Just in case they take an early knockout, but usually you probably gonna take a knockouts early, so maybe not so useful in this deck. But we'll see how it goes. Two Lysander, four Birch. Uh, you're probably never going to see me play Shauna. I don't like Shauna. Birch is. In my opinion, better because you have the opportunity of drawing seven, and the downside is you draw four instead of five. It's a one card difference. You're averaging 5.5. People will argue all day and all night about this. Uh, four Sycamore, discard your hand, draw seven cards. One teammates, if one of your Pokemon is knocked out during your last turn, search deck for two cards and put them into your hand. Search your deck afterwards. For some reason, they knock out a Mega Manetric. You can search for like a DCE, maybe a Red Eyes, maybe whatever two cards you need is pretty good. And with the four VS Seeker, you could use any of these supporters, which is really nice. Four Row Seas, you're going to heal 30 damage for each of your Water Pokemon and Lightning Pokemon from all of them, not just one. So the cool thing here, Red Ice is a Water Pokemon, Mega Manetric is a Lightning Pokemon, so you can heal all of your Pokemon except Shaman off. But hopefully, when they license up Shaman to knock it out, they just knock it out. They just don't leave an active spot there. If they do, you could just easily retreat it, uh, which is not that big of a deal. Four Spear Link, so that way your turn does not end. Uh, we probably play three Mega Manetrics, but if you have to discard a Link or one surprise, it'll be okay. Two Muscle Band, and this is for Reg Ice. If you notice, Resistance Blizzard only does 70, so with the Muscle Band 90, you're two shot in most, uh, most EX Pokemon for uh, 180, which is pretty nice there. 
Two head ringers just to slow down some EX Pokemon a little bit more. They do have to have a one more color one more colors energy to actually attack. So maybe you can slow down some decks if they are scary. Head ring can slow them down. Two DCE just for the Reg Ice. For the most part, you could use Sky Return and pick up Shaman if you need to, but you're gonna use it for Reg Ice because the resistance blizzard, attach your water, then a DCE, and you can start attacking turn two. Uh, six lightning and three water energy. I'm not sure about the energy line, but that's what we're going with right now We're gonna see how it goes and uh, yeah, that's the deck here I mean, it seems like a cool deck and oh another thing if crowbats and golbats are still big Rough seas kind of fixes that problem too. They could like start putting damage on your reg ice early But you can just rough seas heal the damage off so that way you don't have to worry about those um, Yeah, I mean besides that Vespa Queen you're attacking with Mega Manetric Trying to think of any other EX decks. I can't think of any top of my head right now. Uh, maybe Golurk, if that starts seeing play for some reason. I don't think we'll see it at all, though. But, I mean, I, th I think this deck is really good. There's a lot of EX Pokemon. You know, Machamp, Tyranitar, and there's Sceptile. And Regice gets around those with Resistance Blizzard, which is pretty nice here. But, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed this deck. And let's see it in action here. Alright, so everybody gets Instant Classic playing a Fire, Grass, Psychic, and Lightning. It seems like it's a thing where it might be Vespa Queen. It seems like Vespa Queen is a very good uh, contender for those many different energies. I guess the Psychic could be a Node? Yeah, that's probably what it is. Alright, so sorry, I had a brain fart. I forgot what that is. Um, so we start Manetric here. Probably a good starter. Not sure who was going first. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, yeah, I'll put down the Manetric. We'll keep the Reg Ice in our hand. It'll be a secret for our opponent. There's a Pikachu. Okay, that's not a Vespa Queen. We see a Mustang on the Pikachu. A DCE come down. All right. I like it so far. Pretty good turn one so far. Ultra Ball discarding a Muscle Band. There's a Vespa Queen. Like I said, there's a Raichu for next turn. Skyfield, Shaman getting five cards. There's an Eevee coming down, an unknown. He can use that to draw a card. A Love Ball. Probably gonna search for another Eevee and or unknown. Or another Pikachu. That's a good that's a good card to get. Okay. And a pass. Alright, so our turn here. We're gonna headringer this guy, and I actually don't think Reg Ice is that good in this matchup at all. Like, it is not good, I don't think. So we're gonna Ultra Ball discard these two. We're gonna grab a Shaman. We know he has the Raichu in hand. Uh, which could knock out this active Manetric EX. So I'm going to put a Lightning Energy on this bitch Manetric. And here we're going to Shaman until so we have six cards in our hand. And uh, then we're going to pass. Hmm. I'm trying to think here. You know what? Whatever. We'll stick more. We'll go for it. All right. We get a Link. We get a Reg Ice. And here we'll actually switch to this Reg Ice. And here we'll end our turn. So that way, if he does knock us out, he's only knocking out this Reg Ice. We don't really worry about that. Here we see Raichu. Raichu coming down. And 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. He is knocking out the Reg Ice right now. But we're going to actually... Oh, we're going to use Ace Trainer. Put him down. If he's an Ultra Ball, discarding a Verse Seeker and a Vespa Queen. Okay. Combi coming down to play. DC going out to Raichu. Shaman setting up to have six cards. And, uh, party time. Alright, Reg Ice gets knocked out here. Sit up the man himself, Manetric EX. And put the other Manetric down. And here will Ace Trainer. Come on, give me good cards. There we go, that's what we're talking about. Mega Manetric here. Lightning Energy to the Manetric EX. Link, the Bench Manetric. I don't think we have any energies in the discard ball. Oh, we have two! Oh, man. Happy day. Happy day. Alright, put him on this guy, and we'll take a price card. Not that exciting, but next turn... We could license up a shaman and uh, knock it out, which is pretty exciting. There we see unknown. We see Pikachu, Combi, the shaman, verse seeker. What are we grabbing? Uh, looks like a sycamore. Okay, playing that guy down. Love a ball. Let's see what he's gonna grab here. A Flareon. Okay, that way he can have a fire weakness. Seems good. And there's 140. So our turn. We're gonna license up the. Uh, it doesn't matter. We're gonna license up this shaman, and he's gonna discard this shaman. So I'll bring that guy up. Come to me, shaman. Play down the rough seas. 
And he's going to discard the other Shaman and probably the Comb. I was going to say the Flareon, maybe. Uh, Rough Seas, heal off some damage. Retreat to the Manetric, and here we will... Uh, we'll still use it for the knockout. All right, take two prize cards. But good for us. We're having we're having a good game so far. Now he needs oh he needs a bunch of cards to knock out this uh, Manetric. Here we see another Raichu come down. We see another Eevee come down. Sycamore. How many Pokemon is this card? About one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so he has nine in the discard pile right now. Not really enough to knock out anything. Here we see an Ultra Ball discarding. A double fire energy, get another unknown. I'm gonna play that guy. Alright, 120. Sorry, turn here. Whoa, oh, we got he got rid of the rough seas. We'll put a lightning energy on this manetric. We'll put on this manetric and uh, let me think here. Yeah, put on this manetric. We'll battle compressor. And here we'll discard some energies, maybe a battle compressor, and then a maybe a lightning energy. Seems good. And here we'll Sycamore. I think it's okay. Alright, so we'll Ultra Ball discard the Reg Ice and the Muscle Band. And oh, our last Manetric EX is priced. That could be a. Oh man, that's gonna be bad for us. Uh, so retreat this Manetric here. And yeah, here a Turbo Bolt for 110. And we'll put two energies onto. This Manetric, and we'll take a prize card. Alright, Rough Seas uh, could be good for next turn, maybe. Uh, does he have a DC or not? He's played one, two, he's played two so far. So does he have a third uh, third or fourth one in his hand right now? I mean, he's doing enough damage to knock us out Vespa Queen and or Raichu. We see this Raichu come to Active Spot. It doesn't matter which one. We see a Verse Seeker probably grabbing a Sycamore. Oh, Blacksmith. He's going to probably Blacksmith to this Raichu. And that's a cool play with Flareon. You can just, uh, if you're stage one Pokemon, and that way you can uh, take a knockout there. That's a pretty cool play there. So we're going to send this Manetric. We have three for three to two left. All right. So how many Verse Seekers have we played? One, two. We've played two so far. All right. So I think we're going to put down the Rough Seas, heal the Bench, uh, Manetric, put it. A, oh, I'm trying to think here. We can Verse Seeker bring up the Eevee to knock it out. Or the Combi, or the Unknown. Uh, which one is better to knock out, potentially? I think... I'm not sure what if it even matters, really. I think I'd rather knock out the Unknown, so that way he can't use it to draw a card. If that makes any sense, so yeah, well, I center up this unknown. We'll put down the Manetric, put a fight, uh, muscle band on it. We'll put a DC. Uh, it doesn't really matter. We'll put on this Manetric, I guess. And here we will assault laser for 60, knocking out the unknown. And then next turn, we could Shaman try to draw into our last verse seeker to take a knockout. We have the Mega Manetric, so that way we can evolve. We can knock out the Raichu and or Vespa Queen, which everyone decides to attack here. So we'll see. Or right, I mean, oh, we have the win regardless with Mega Manetric. Um, so that's good there. And if he does somehow in us away, license of this guy or something, we could just maybe first secret hit it, knock out an Eevee or Combi. Oh man, it's getting close here. See what Instant Classics got for us. I know back to back days we played against Vespa Queen, but like I said yesterday, there's a lot of Vespa Queens online, and I mean it is one of the best decks in the format right now. So you can't really blame them. We're testing up the deck. Here we see a Skyfield. And it doesn't really matter. I don't really worry about Skyfield right now. I'm more worried about, well, he can't end us unless he's playing out of format and uh, wants to end us. Because there is, uh, we're still on the last day before September 1st. So it's still August 31st while I'm making, while recording this video. So he could potentially end us, uh, but that'd be pretty, uh, I'd be, uh, I'd be kind of upset. The only thing he probably needs to do here. Is Lysander of the Bench Manetric X with the uh, with the Link? If he doesn't do this, we have the one in our hand. We can knock him out. He could Ace Trainer us. Uh, that is a card that we really haven't seen a lot of decks playing, and I'm not sure why. Here we see a Lysander bringing up this Manetric. Actually, okay, that's a little bit confusing. You see Vespa Queen kind of Axe Spot here. And we're going to see a knockout. 
Oh, he doesn't even knock us out here. All right, so here we'll just uh, Mega Evolve here. Switch to Mega Manetric, and here we are Turbo Bolt for the knockout. Take of the win against Vespa Queen. We don't even need Red Ice in this game. You can see why Mega Manetric just kind of runs over Raichu and or a Vespa Queen deck. They really can't one-shot you, and that's the whole idea of Vespa Queen, to one-shot you. And uh, if you can cycle between different Manetrics and heal them off with Rough Seas, you're in good shape there. But I'm going to try to record a game with Red Ice, and hopefully we can play a game not against Vespa Queen. And we'll see what happens when we get Reg Ice out. Because I really want I really want the video to be about Reg Ice, but like I said before, it's hard when Vespa Queen is running around everywhere. So we'll see another game, hopefully with Reg Ice attacking in the next one. Now, okay, it's so my opponent's turn here. Alright, we'll start Reg Ice. Get Ultra Ball, discard Ultra Ball, Lightning, get a Shaman. I don't know. We'll see. Well, we'll see what our hand is when we draw a card. Alright, so let's see it. Okay, my opponent has a Pokemon in the active spot. That's always good. Okay. And there is an Evitol. Now, the scary thing about this Pokemon is uh, he could knock us out turn two. And yeah, he's playing lasers. Uh, come on, man. I guess he wants to get one last hoorah, hoorah with the... Uh, with Manetric, there we see a Verbank City Gym coming down and in. Oh, right, just play everything you want, just play everything your heart desires and more. All right, so how uh, does he okay? There's a dark card coming down. All right, let's see here. The pass from opponent. All right, so let's see. We get a muscle band, we get a, a wired energy. Professor Birch, give me heads. There we go. We get a Manetric, we can switch into the Manetric, put a Spirit Link on him, and we can end our turn. Alright, next turn we can Mega Evolve, put a DC, and start using Resistance Blizzard onto this Evotol, making it where it can't hurt us. Now the only thing that's scary here is Baby Evotol. So we will have to actually power up this Manetric, which I don't want to do actually, I mean, uh, we're going to have to though, so that way we can knock out these Baby Evotols. And let Regice shine against these EX Pokemon. So here we see a DCE come down to the Evotol. Does he have a Lysander or not? 20, 40, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That will knock us out. Does he have the Lysander or not? Big question of the night. Pokemon Fan Club, that's not a Lysander. We are good to go. What does he get with the Fan Club, though? Maybe a baby Evotol? If he realizes what this Regice can do. Some people don't know what it does, so that we could play into that part, which is always good here. So we're going to have an exciting game. Thank you, Pokemon. Uh, I've been hitting some some pretty some pretty not exciting games. There we see a Toad and the Evotol come down. All right, or a Toad and the Evotol come into his hand. They haven't came down yet. There's the big bad Toad. There's an Evotol. Kind of worried about this guy. Uh, he could hurt a Red Ice. We see a Verse Seeker. I guess grabbing a in for next turn. Just in case, I guess if we quake a punch him. Alright, so that's good. At least he can end his next turn. We play this Professor Birch. And we see a, okay, just an Eve Ball for 80. So our turn, Mega Manetric, DC on the Red Ice, Burst Seeker for the Birch, and we'll play it. And, ah, uh, Tails, boo. Uh, well, Headringer. Not sure what we want to head ring. I'm gonna head ring of the toad. That seems a little bit more scary. Retreat to the red ice, and here we'll resistance blizzard for 90 damage. All right. So next turn we could knock out this evil tall here if my opponent decides to stick it in the active spot. And our opponent does have the end, which you know it's not legal anymore, but we'll take it. I'll allow it, especially when you end us out of this three card hand. So very nice for us. We get a light energy. We get a rough seas. Okay. Now as long as Please, no lasers. The lasers are bad for us. Uh, we do play multiple switch though, so we have two left in the deck, so we could switch out if we're uh, asleep. Let's see, does he get a dark energy? Oh, he gets a dark energy in the Evotol here. Does he get a muscle band? If he doesn't get a muscle band here, his attacks basically do nothing, and there's the muscle band. All right, so he gets the muscle band here. Question is, will he retreat the Evotol or not? Does he know what Resistance Blizzard does or not? Big question of the day. And, alright, he did an Evil Ball for nothing. He didn't know what the attack did here. Alright, so Rough Seas, heal off the Red Ice and the Manetric. Put a Lightning Energy on this guy. Player, Professor Birch, heads. 
And we'll put a Headringer. Do we even need it? I don't think so. We'll put down a Metric, put down Reg Ice. And yeah, we'll resist this Blizzard for the knockout to the Evil Tall, taking our two prize cards. Alright. Now next turn we could switch it to Manetric EX, knock out this Evil Tall if he promotes it. And then we can start swimming with Reg Ice again with the resistance uh Blizzard. So we I mean we're doing pretty good here. The only thing I wish we could top deck is a battle compressor so that way we can put more energies onto these bench reg ices. So here we see Evil Tall coming to the active spot. We see a dark energy going to the dark right. Ah, it doesn't really matter to me. The dark spear, or nice dark spear. Oh man, what am I doing here? Uh Night Spear can do 30 damage to a bench Pokemon, but we can rough seize it off. Not really worried about that. We will will the state we will win the state anymore. I am hundred percent positive on that one. Here we see an Evil Tall coming down. He is scared of the Manetrics for sure. And let's see what the last card in his hand is. Does he have the support or not? And there's a Sycamore. Great job. Sycamore with nothing in your hand. Alright, question of the day. Does he have another laser or not? There's a Verbank coming down. Boo, boo. No Verbank. Don't play that card. Laser. I'm fine with this. Uh, he's playing it early, so that's good. I'm fine with him playing it early. So let's see what he decides to do here. He could have Blivowing. I mean, he's going to Blivowing for 80 total. We got to switch the hand to the Manetric. Lightning Energy, not got the Evitol. The question is, where do we put this? Uh, uh, we play Birch or Sycamore? I'm going to Birch. We're going to flip heads. I believe in us. So we see uh, Oblivion Wing here, 50 damage. Probably put the energy onto this Dark Right. It seems like a good play uh, for sure. For sure, for sure, it seems like a good play. And uh, oh no, we're asleep. What will we do? I guess we'll play the. Oh, we top deck Rough Seas. Play that first. Switch into Manetric, put a Lightning Energy here, play our own Birch. I'll put a Head Ring on the Avatar, why not? Play fair, play Birch. Ah, uh, tell us, what are you doing? Alright, um... Man, I wish... Uh, do we do it? Do we go for it? Uh, I'm debating if we go for it. No, we're not gonna do it. We're doing Turbo Bolt for 220. Take a prize card. I was debating to get a Shaman and then use it and, uh... Probably drawn to a battle compressor, maybe? I don't know. So we can start powering up the bench reg ice, but it'll be okay. We're gonna see the dark guy probably come to the active spot here. Swing for a hundred and uh what is it? Twenty? Yeah. Or no, one ten, sorry. I'm thinking of hundred and twenty because of the uh, thirty damage. We see an ultra ball. Oh Malamar! Oh he should have put that card down. That could have been really good for him. He could have put down the Malamar, put an energy, try to put a reg ice to sleep. Actually lost a game because of that at Worlds. Malamar could become a clutch, but he decides not to play. Oh, a Pikachu! I choose you, Pikachu! Oh man, that could be a, a crazy card too. Let me see a Toad come down and in. Oh, Pikachu does not see the light of day though. Alright, it's good for us though. So here we're going to see a Night Spear for 90 or 110, 30 onto... Uh, it doesn't really matter. We're going to kill that off regardless. <laughs> All right, so let's see what my opponent has here. Does he even have an energy to attack this turn? That could be really bad if he doesn't. We see a Douse Machine discarding a Garbodor and a Sycamore. Garbodor, not that useful. Reg Ice is, a, is an attack, not an ability like Suku and a Cyclop, which is good. You can't shut it down unless you license it around it. So, uh, yeah. See why this deck is so strong? Yes, yeah. Okay, he's played one Verse Seeker and no Lysanders. Here's the Averbeck City Gym coming down. Oh, we might actually lose a standing war now. No, I feel so confident. You know what? I still feel confident. All right. Put a Lightning Energy down and a Play Sycamore. We got a Spirit Link here. You know what I'm, I'm actually going to do here? I'm going to Ultra Ball discard the Lysander. No, not the Lysander. The Lightning and the Manetric. Here we got a Mega Manetric. Put that down. Play the Battle Compressor, and here we'll discard a Water and another Lightning Energy. So Water, Teammates, and Lightning. That seems good. I feel like we're going to be ahead of the prize pool the whole time, so I'm not going to... Uh, I mean, maybe we could have discarded that. I don't know. But here we'll put the Water and a Lightning. I'm not sure which one's better, discard Ace Trainer or Teammates. But either way, we get another Reg Ice ready to go here. And uh, next turn, we could knock it out with this Bench Reg Ice. Take two prizes on this Dark Rye. And then potentially next turn, Lysander up an Evil Tall to win the game here. And we see a DC going out Dark Rye. Is he going to go for a Night Spear? 
We see Sycamore. Oh, man. He's uh, feeling lucky here. Oh, if he plays like... Oh, he's already played Dallas Machine. I was like, if he plays Gold Potion, that could be bad. And we see Woods in. Not knocking us out. 30 damage from the Who. This is the big question here. 30 damage is Reg Ice. Not that big of a deal. Our turn, Sycamore. We get into the Water Energy down here. Uh, we'll retreat. This is Reg Ice. And here we'll take a knockout with the Resistance Blizzard. Taking two price cards, and next turn we can license up Evil Tall and win the game here. Oh man, it looks like we're in good shape. Red Ice doing some work, even though we're playing against a deck that shouldn't be in existence right now. We are still putting in some work in. Now, the only scary thing that could happen here is if my opponent puts down a DCE, lasers us, and Quake Punch, we stay asleep, we can't retreat, and then we actually get knocked out going back into his turn. Unless we put down a rough siege, which we have in our hand right now. So, but don't tell them. Don't tell them we have a rough siege. Keep that a secret between us, please. Okay. So we see a toad come active here. We see a sycamore. He is digging. Oh, three cards left in his deck here. Does he have the DC laser? That's his only option. That's. I mean, that's that's it. That's his only option. I probably should have versed secret for a license or last turn. Hey, we see the DC. Does he have the laser or not? And we don't. We see a quick punch. You know what? I'm actually going to do this. I'm just going to put down a rough seas heal and uh, victory screen. Oh, I was going to click a punch or right, resistance blizzard and resistance blizzard again and resistance blizzard to win the game. But you can see why Reg Ice is so strong. I mean, we saw in the last game we beat Vespa Queen pretty pretty easily. Like, oh man, it destroyed Vespa Queen with Mega Manetrix and everything else that's an EX. Reg Ice just just handles it now. When before the rotation, you had to worry about lasers staying asleep. I guess now you technically might have to worry about Aria Dose, but there's no Verbank, so the poison only does 10. So I think this deck is really, 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 really strong. Deck, I think it's one of the best decks in the format right now. There's a, I mean, we've barely touched the surface of what could be playing here. This is only like week two of playing these decks, but I really do think this deck is one of the best ones that people haven't really looked into. Uh, there might be some cool Lugia decks that I haven't seen yet. We still have Sceptile. We still have Mega Tyranitar. We have some Lugia decks. We haven't even gone over Hoopa yet. But I don't think Hoopa's that great of a card. A lot of people do think it is, but we'll see. We have some time to test that Hoopa and Sceptile. I think that's a good spot for it. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. What main decks do you want to see? Like I said, we have plenty of time before a new set even comes out. So we'll find out for sure what is the best deck for this format. But hopefully you have a great day. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button down below. I hope you have a great day. Alrighty, bye.